Starting to learn the lengths incumbent state lawmakers are willing to go to to keep their seats in Madison. What are you going to do? You just have to suck it up and move forward. That includes a new Senate district that could potentially pit three Green Bay Area incumbents against one another. I think it makes sense geographically, and I think it'll make for a very competitive race this November. Good evening, and thanks for staying with us here at 10. Three Republican state senators are now in one district under new legislative maps. Yeah, however, we already know they all won't be going for the same Green Bay Area seat, which now appears to be more favorable for Democrats. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz brings us balanced news coverage. Rob Coles has been in the state Senate for 36 years, and he's already planning to move from his Alloway home of about 25 years to keep representing his district. Well, I'm not happy about it at all, but I'm more interested in public service and getting things done than I am about being attached to, you know, my condo here in Alloway. Coles currently serves Senate District 2. Eric Wimberger serves District 30, and Andre Jacques serves District 1. Under the newly passed maps, all three Republicans now live in District 30. Coles plans to move west to remain in District 2. Wimberger has said he will run again for District 30. And Jacques was unavailable for this story, but has said he's considering running for the congressional seat Republican Mike Gallagher is leaving. Jacques' term in District 1 doesn't end until 2026, despite living outside the district under the new maps. I would call it a ruthless effort to cancel us, and uh, most of us are fighting back. Why not just stay in the 30th district and run there? Well, I... Uh, <laughs> that that uh, that's a good question rather than running a district that's vastly new i would stay with the bulk of my district when the district 30 seat was last open in 2020 wimberger defeated democrat jonathan hansen 55 percent to 45 percent however that's when the district stretched north to include oconto and marinette counties under the new maps the district loses those highly republican areas and covers more of brown county the district leaned 52% Democrat in 2022. I think Democrats have a real shot. It's a lot different than the Senate district that I ran in in 2020. Hansen says he's considering another run and believes other Democrats are thinking about running too. You know, I think I have a record of over the last seven years on the De Pere City Council, including serving as council president, um, getting uh, results uh, for my district. The primary for the race is August 13th with the general election November 5th. In Brown County, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. Wisconsin's new legislative maps are shaking up the state's political makeup. Yeah, the maps, which were drawn by Governor Evers, are creating a game of chess in terms of who is running for which district. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens is taking a closer look tonight. With newly drawn legislative maps in place for the fall election, a Democrat is throwing her hat into the ring for the new 18th district. I would have run for it no matter what. If, if, if 19, if I would have stayed in 19, then I would have been on the ticket in, in two years because I believe this is the right answer. I believe I'm the right person to help Wisconsin make that turn into cooperative effort for the people. Kristen Alfheim, an Appleton Alder person, officially announced her plans on running for state Senate on Thursday. The new Senate District 18 includes Appleton, Nina, and Oshkosh. Before Governor Tony Evers signed his version of the maps earlier this month, the 18th district included Oshkosh and Fond du Lac. Republican State Senator Dan Fyan currently holds the 18th district seat, but under the new maps, Fyan says he will be running for the 20th district. In a release earlier this week, Fyan said in part, We have had great success in the district, but now the lines have changed in Fond du Lac, my hometown, is now part of the 20th Senate district. Right now, Senate District 20 is held by Dewey Strobel. His communications team tells Fox 11 he will be running for the 8th district seat. Dan Canodal, who is currently the state senator for the 8th district, is instead running for the 24th Fourth Assembly District. Some of these folks that are moving um, to a quote unquote new district really isn't a new district because many of those same constituents are people that they represent right now. It's just a different number. According to Marquette University Law School, any pickup by Democrats in the state Senate would end the supermajority by Republicans. New faces could be making decisions in the Wisconsin state legislature after you decide 2024. Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. Even-numbered Senate, uh, state Senate districts are up for election this November. Odd-numbered districts will be on the ballot in 2026.